Your specific person will show up in your reality, and not only that, their behavior towards you will also change. Once you start doing this, you will witness changes almost immediately. So, last night I was reading a chapter from Neville Goddard's book. While reading that chapter, something clicked within me. It shifted my perspective, and something wonderful happened. Although I knew it already, reading it again refreshed my memory. I lied down and relaxed. It was easy for me to get into a state akin to sleep because I was working out two hours before. My body needed that relaxation, so I lied down. The main purpose was not to fall asleep but to remain in a state where I could control my imagination while relaxing. Now, while relaxing, I started assuming myself as someone who is attractive. I heard some of my friends calling me attractive. My attention was moving, it was going from one place to another. I started imagining different unrelated things that were not in alignment with the attractive assumption. So, without scolding myself, I calmly directed my attention to this attractive assumption again and again. Then, after like 30 minutes, I stood up and went for my second workout session. My second workout session consists of climbing stairs for 30 minutes. While doing this scene of sats, I kept my phone on airplane mode. Then, while doing this climbing the stairs workout, I turned on my internet and I saw a message from someone that I adore. So, I met her for the first time in February, and I didn't interact with her. In the month of April, we met in a group setting frequently, and there we had our first interactions, but we never exchanged our social media handles. In June, I connected with her on social media, and I kind of have this crush on her. I already knew that I had to maintain this positive attitude towards her. We didn't talk that much because I was always the first one to message. Although it was not a problem, I wanted her to text me first. Long story short, after doing the SAT session, I was amazed because she texted me today out of the blue. It was not like she wanted something from me or texted me for some favor. We started talking over text. It was 9 p.m. when I replied to her. Now, her responses were quick, and we talked till 2 a.m. In between we went for dinner, but our conversation resumed, and the cool thing is, I teased her, and it also had some flirtatious moments in between. When teasing her, I was confident that she was enjoying it, and this continued for five hours. For the first time, I had this long conversation with her, and it didn't feel like five hours had passed. So the point of making you understand this story is to make you realize how things start working almost immediately in your favor once you start assuming the best concept about yourself. The ones who never had any previous experiences with the law will call it a coincidence. Once you apply it, and once you control your imagination, you will start seeing results. In the story that I mentioned above, my intention was not to be in a relationship with someone specific. My only intention was to feel as if I were attractive when I started embodying this state. Other people, being the messenger in my reality, started reflecting that back to me. This woman that I adore started reflecting what I am believing about myself back to me. At this point in my journey, I no longer seek any specific person. When I was new to the law, I desired a specific person, and I even manifested them. I even manifested a hug from that person. But I lost interest because I realized that it was never about a specific person. It was always about me. It was always about how I feel and perceive myself. It was always about how I was feeling internally. It was always about what assumptions I was holding about myself internally. It was not about some other person, it was always about me. Another has no choice but to reflect what I am holding internally. They reflect the concepts that I accept as true about myself. That is why I say it is always about what you believe about yourself. Many people are seeking their specific person. They have this desire to be with them. They even say that they are imagining. But I believe that they are not able to control their imagination. Their imagination wanders, for a few seconds they imagine, and then their imagination moves away from one place to another, and that is why they are unable to see the results. Ask anyone who has consciously manifested their specific person, and you will know that they lost that desire. It happened because they lived fully internally in the state of having their specific person, and when they lived fully internally, they embodied the feeling of having that person, and when it happened, they lost interest because they lived in this state, and that is how they manifested their specific person. Many people tend to forget that it is always about feeling your desired state internally. Like people start attracting towards you when you start feeling attractive, people start loving you when you start feeling loved internally. It is an internal game. Your persistent assumptions harden into fact. You are always assuming one thing or another. If you keep on thinking that nothing works in your favor, then nothing will work in your favor. If, on the other hand, you think, isn't it wonderful? Something marvelous is happening in my reality. Then that marvelous thing starts happening. It is all based upon your assumptions. The world always reflects your assumptions back to you. We become what we contemplate. For it is the nature of love, as it is the nature of hate, to change us into the likeness of that which we contemplate. 
Therefore, whatever you think about deeply and on a consistent basis, it remains in your reality. You embody that state of consciousness, and it manifests in your world. It happens because consciousness is the one and only reality. That is why you are incapable of seeing other than the contents of our own consciousness. So if you fill yourself up with the idea of limitations, if you perceive yourself as someone who cannot be, do, or have the things that you want, then you manifest the same in your reality. Whatever you want will always seem like it is impossible for you to have. Also, you don't have to argue with another or you don't have to force another to change. You don't even need help from another to change what is present in your reality. Also, you don't need another to believe in what you believe because all changes take place within. You only have to satisfy yourself. You don't need to satisfy another because it is you who is experiencing this reality. Now, there are many ways to do it. But I will talk about inner conversations because the majority of us are internally involved in inner conversations all the time. Let's say when someone mentions a person's name. You start speaking to yourself internally. You start saying, oh, they are like this or that. I wonder what they are doing in life. They used to treat me like this or that. In this manner, you start having inner conversations internally. Even if you are going out for a date, you start having this conversation within. What should I wear? Will they like it or not? What is their favorite color? I think it is black. I will wear this black outfit with this footwear. I have to rush, otherwise, I am going to be late. Will they reach on time? Will they like this place or not? Should I make the first move? I think they should make the first move. I was waiting for it for a long time, and now they are going out with me. It is so wonderful. Can you notice how you are involved in such inner conversations every day? Like you are doing this on a regular basis. This is making you form new assumptions. You are forming assumptions that are manifesting things in your reality. So, now what do you have to do? You have to control these inner conversations and direct them towards your desired reality. If you really want to have a relationship, then you have to control your inner conversations from the viewpoint of a person who is already in a relationship. It would be like, I am loved, and my partner wants me a lot. They surprise me with gifts, and they meet me on a consistent basis. I am their favorite person, and they share everything with me. I go on trips with them, and we enjoy it a lot. They think highly of me, and they can't get anyone better than me. I am a lucky person that I am liked by everyone, and everything is working in my favor. Everything is perfect in my reality. Like this, you have to divert your attention towards your desired state. I know there would be instances where you would think that they are ignoring me, they haven't called yet. But you don't have to entertain such inner conversations. Instead, you have to start having inner conversations by saying, Oh, they call me, they call me every day. They called me in the morning, now they will call me at night. I am the first person they call whenever they want to share something. They trust me a lot and call me multiple times during the day. They feel love when they talk to me. They feel calm after talking to me. It is like I am the most important person in their life. So, my friend, this is how you have to defeat those limitations. You would face such instances, they are a common occurrence. But all you have to do is think from the perspective of having what you want. By only doing this, you will land up in the state of the wish fulfilled. Everything will start to unfold in your favor. It would become easier for you to imagine a scene that you can do before falling asleep. It is that easy. Only your laziness keeps you away from living the life of your dreams. This is one way that can help you to change your assumptions. There are other ways too that I will discuss in detail in my upcoming course. For now, just have those inner conversations that are fruitful to you, and in a matter of days, everything will manifest in your reality. You can even try affirmation tapes that will give you a push to start thinking in that certain manner. To make it happen, I have designed one such affirmation tape that will help you. You can find it by clicking on the first video that now appears on the screen.